What will you miss about him? I mean, just the days where he would just produce total magic that would make you go, oh my goodness. Um, putting a car on a road that, with such precision that just left all the other drivers around him with no option but to sort of surrender to the to the to what Lewis was doing on the road um the ability to make a tire last and last and last even while telling Bono it wouldn't um <laughs> all that. He, he does just, a lot of that yeah um <laughs> the 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 drama that goes along with having him as a teammate but the just the delivery of brilliant brilliant performance i i've said before i think he's he's the best racing car driver there's ever been and i s still believe it and you yeah you know, and that. that's coming from a man who's worked with michael schumacher yeah who uh, another utterly remarkable person but and it's a parlor game that we can all mm. indulge in endlessly without resolution but if if i gun against the head had to choose the best person i would pick lewis how surprised were you when you heard that Lewis wanted to leave the team? Not massively. Um, I was surprised at the manner in which it happened, the timing of it. Um, but, but I was aware of the nature of the contract we'd offered and the nature of the contract we'd offered permitted that to happen so if it then happened we shouldn't be surprised because that was explicitly a thing we were happy or not happy it was a thing that we were prepared to happen or else we wouldn't have put it as an option in the contract so um yeah the, the precise timing and and sequencing of when it happened that i think caught everyone a bit on the hop um but that it did happen i don't think was unpredictable You've worked at Ferrari on two occasions. What's Lewis got waiting for him there? Well, he'll he'll get a sense of the the spirit and passion of that team. Those are over overused cliches. But that, do you think he'll react well to that? Uh, I think initially, I think it might get tricky. Um, I at Ferrari, the Ferrari is the star, and and. I think every driver who's driven there at some level or other has had to come to terms with that. If Lewis actually embraces that and loves it in the way that Michael did, then, then there's space for both to, to be great. Um, if, if, if he doesn't, then it, I think the, the brand and the Ferrari will always, always dominate.